family welcome to my channel and to today's vlog shop where's he going okay um there's house being built next door anyone who's friends with me on facebook will know the drama that's happening um it's nearly finished but there's just people coming and going all the time um yeah so i'm just about to head off to zumba to teach and then i thought we'd do some markdown shopping so i thought i'd pick up the camera and say hello to you guys i'm just finishing coffee this is my husband's coffee mug that i've uh, borrowed for the car um this is where all coffee cups come to die <laughs> i usually end up with about two or three and then take them inside um i oh, got woken up by the rubbish truck this morning i'm hoping it's the truck for the other bin which I think is the green bin and not the red bin so the rubbish bin uh, because he I think comes later in the day we've got a couple of bags of rubbish still from cleaning out Kira's room so I've put the food rubbish in the bin on the street and I haven't added another bag to it because if I forget it by the time the truck comes back next week I need to add another one in um, and I know I can ring them and say, I forgot to put my bin out. Um, but also, they take like two or three days. Last time I did that, they came the day before. And I had a bag of rubbish sitting outside my house waiting for it to go in. So it was actually a pain in the bum to have my bin sitting on the curb for like four days. Um, I had a couple of people bring it in. I was like, no, no, it needs to stay there. <sighs> yeah. Um. All right. So we're going to get going. I'll go. I'm half asleep. I got into bed last night and then I was like about to drift off to sleep and went, <gasps> I have to finish one of my Zumba invoices for tax. So I had to get up out of bed and finish out on the computer just to make sure that was all done for today. Um, yeah. <laughs> Being a small business owner, woo, the joys. Uh, but it's good to finally be back after restrictions. So we'll see how that goes. Oh my gosh, it was a panic yesterday. So we've had one new local acquired case here and I had all these people messaging me at like 11.30 going, we're about to go into another lockdown. And I was like, what? Oh my God. So I'm trying to clean up from Zumba while recording the um, dance boogie that I put up yesterday and watch the news thing. Oh, it was all over the joint. And of course they take forever <laughs> to get to the point. And so I'm on the ABC app going, just looking for the word lockdown, and it's not there. I'm like, okay, fine. You know what? At worst, it can't be until like four o'clock. So I'll just film this thing, get out there, and then see what goes on. But yeah, oh my God. I, so I was in a bit of a panic for now, like an hour going, oh, I really, really have to record this so people will have something to do in lockdown. Far out. Oh, I tell you. We're all going insane. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna go and um, I will see you soon. swapped to disposable mask it's just easier to stop my glasses fogging up oh my gosh I'm on the go slow today I tell you and everyone's just like wandering around the shops like this all that they're like this like you know um so I grabbed a few markdown things so first thing I got for free in Foodland they gave me this uh rubber bowl with Bix so um I wasn't game to bounce it on the ground because it probably would have run down the corridor. I've done that before. Um, so I got two packets of these German, what are they called? Uh, gingerbread cookies, German cookies. If anyone knows how to say that name, let me know. They were a dollar each. <laughs> Scott used to call these ninja food or ninja cookies when he was younger. I don't know where it came from, but it's stuck ever since. Um, I got milk, $1.50, so this will be breakfast and lunch. I did eat breakfast today, actually, but I'm just feeling like I need a bit of something. I got two lots of cream because they were $1.50 each. Um, they'll probably go straight into the freezer. 
and I also grabbed a chocolate mousse 275 so 50% off and uh, yeah 450 grams so that's really good value I can make chocolate mousse myself but it always takes me forever um, so buy it and it will go <laughs> quicker than I can get it in the house um, oh and Big W I'll put up an image they have this um, make a chocolate gingerbread house thing so and you can bring home a little tear off so I brought it home and it's got instructions on the back I thought that would be something fun for you to do with the children although I'm not sure that children touching chocolate that entire time when you're trying to help them and then put it all together and then now we're going to eat it because you've just had your hands all over it uh, but you know what something a bit fun it gives you instructions on how to cut things out so you could maybe substitute it make your own gingerbread house with cookies or something it is fiddly I have done it before um, but yeah all right I'm gonna go to another shop I've only got like an hour today to have an appointment later so yes, let's press on and see what we find. some lunch because again I got a large fries from Macca's for one dollar get that up people so this is lunch and I also got I bring my own metal straw with me because I can't stand those plastic straws I got a frozen coke for a dollar because my strawberry milk is just not doing it today <laughs> and I'm just like and I've still got a couple more shops I want to hit and then I've got an appointment this afternoon so I'm gonna be like I mean it is a massage so I'm gonna be sleeping anyway but I just need to power through for another hour but yeah I think um, today will be a shorter day anyway so mm. Alright, we're going to press on. So, I went to take my sunnies off to put my glasses on so I can see ya. And it is so bright out here, so, um... <laughs> I think I better go as a police officer looking at me a bit funny. I think he thinks I'm filming the traffic, but I'm actually talking to myself. Okay. <laughs> oh. Whoops! Okay, I think we'll go. <laughs> Alright, got a few little things in that shop. Went to Woolworths, got nothing. Went to another Woolworths, got nothing. It's a bit weird. I went to get um, toothpaste that I saw there. And then I realised when I read it, it said um, eucalyptus mint. I'm not sure what that is, but I thought, I'm not really sure that would go down very well in the house. And for the weight that it was, it really wasn't great value. I was just tempted to get it because I'm pretty tired. Um, and we need toothpaste, but I'll add it to the list and make sure I get it in the next shop because I have to do a Woolworths haul. So I got a few things just at Coles. I got um, this chocolate sauce. It was $1.25. I have been watching this on the shelf forever. It came out on clearance when I first saw it for $2. And I kept saying, I'll get one, I'll get one, I'll get one. And in the last couple of weeks I went in, there wasn't any. And I went, oh well, I've missed out. And then I just saw it on the shelf for $1.20, I thought I'm going to get it. Um, I got a litre of milk for 98 cents. And um, yeah, it's going to be used by a couple of days. But I'll, we will use that. And then I just got this block of chocolate for $2.50. So probably not the best in, in terms of um, chocolate pricing. But um, <laughs> it's got cornflakes in it. <laughs> so this chocolate's going to be uh, very safe with me because my family are not cornflake lovers I love to make and eat cornflake cookies there's actually a recipe on my 
Um, actually, there's no recipe because it's a family recipe. But if you just Google cornflake cookies, um, so yeah, there's a nut in there. And oh yeah, I can see like cornflakes and stuff. So, mmm, that's good. I put that in my little sneaky packet. Mmm. All right. Um. Well, I'm gonna go home. So this is a pretty short haul today because I need to go home and shower uh, so I can go and have a massage. Um. And also, there's two other shops that I was thinking about hitting. But I think I'm done for today. There was heaps of cream marked down in there, but my freezer is full. I cannot fit anything more, especially I've got these other two. Um, and a few other things I did see that you would see in my filming, but I've just got no room and I just need to eat what's in the house. So yeah, usual markdown snack trip today. And Saturday, I have to come down south anyway for the usual. Um, so we might hit NQR and see what's in there. But yeah. But thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you, you enjoyed watching and shopping with me. I'll have a piece of chocolate for you. Don't you worry. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye.